Well, good morning, everyone. It is uh, what it was before sunrise, and I came back to the higher elevation areas and make myself some roadside tea and some roadside breakfast. Um, there are some clouds up in the sky today, and I got some friends that are hiking subway today, so hopefully those clear out in time for them to, uh, you know, get some good reflected light. But yesterday when I was walking along the washes, I found some pretty cool scenes with the leaves there kind of on the edge and some nice mud patterns. So I think that'll be the plan today to kind of look for some stuff along those lines. So I'm just taking my time wandering through the washes this morning. And it's pretty amazing how fast these leaves are changing color. You know, just a few days ago, that tree back there was really, really green. Now it's yellow and kind of fading to red. And the oaks are looking pretty nice as well. Kind of a yellowish, greenish, kind of a goldy color, which is nice. And there are certain areas along the washes, like um, right back over here, where there's all these really nice patterns and from where the water is flowing through. Um, the leaves are starting to fall, so I'm kind of paying close attention to those areas along the edges of the washes because they seem to look pretty nice. But the main thing I do on these walks is just kind of look for things that catch my eye for one reason or another and then kind of take a moment to look and see if I can find a composition or at least get some ideas as far as what I want to shoot. So it's very calm and quiet down here, which is nice. The skies are quite blue right now. So my buddies that are hiking subway today are probably gonna get some pretty good light, which is nice. But I'm gonna keep wandering and see if anything else catches my eye. So I was wandering through the wash and I came across something kind of cool. I found this tree right here and it's kind of in this little alcove area and it's kind of past peak color but in kind of a graceful way where it has this not a lot of leaves on it but they're kind of nicely spaced which is good and it's set up against a really dark part of the sandstone which is really nice and then you have the really light colored rocks down below so i set up a composition where i'm basically centering that tree i'm using a 240 millimeter lens which is equivalent to about a 35 millimeter using a vertical composition you see my camera back over there and uh, it's pretty simple light right now nothing but blue sky and then some reflected light coming from some of the very large sandstone peaks nearby. But it's pretty cool. I exposed two sheets of Velvia 50 and then one of Ektar. So pretty cool to find a scene. But now I'm gonna get things packed up and kind of keep looking and see if I can find something else. shooting that photo, I went back to my truck, made myself some lunch and just kind of relaxed for a little bit while the sun was moving around a little bit. And now I'm back down in the washes again, kind of scouting for something else to perhaps point my camera at. But I want to talk a little bit about that scene that I found. Um, I was attracted to it because it has kind of pale yellow leaves. So it wasn't really vibrant colors. And the fact that they were really sparse was also quite nice. I think that kind of plays to the storytelling aspect. You know, the tree that has just a few leaves left, but still looks really, really beautiful in its own right. And what I found is that the trees, when they're first starting to change color, they look pretty awesome. They have kind of a mixture of, you know, greens and yellows and oranges, a little bit of rusty reds. Uh, when they're in peak color, it's almost like too perfect. And I don't, it's it kind of makes them hard to work with. But once they start getting really sparse and having just a few leaves, I think that's when they sometimes look their best. And had I shot that tree I shot earlier this morning in, you know, peak color when it was full of leaves, I may have had kind of a little bit of a different mood for the photo. So pretty glad I found it when I did. 
but I'm gonna keep wandering, see if anything else catches my eye. So as the afternoon transitions into evening, there's some high clouds that are going over right now and it's getting pretty windy. And it's actually kind of a nice thing because it's throwing some leaves off the trees here. And the ground is starting to look really beautiful. So I don't know how much longer this wind is gonna stick around, but since many of the trees here are kind of at or beyond peak, they're throwing leaves pretty good and the ground's starting to look pretty nice. But since there's clouds, the light isn't all that amazing right now. So I figure I will just wait and see what happens tomorrow morning and how the washes look. But I'll have to check the weather to see what's going on for that. The wind is really funneling through this wash I'm walking through right now. It's so beautiful here. So I think it's now time to head back to camp. Grab myself some dinner. And thankfully, I don't have to load any film. I already did that this morning. But, see y'all in the morning. this ad-free content and want to help me live my dream. A voluntary contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com donate. I also have prints available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support.